These are custom dies that I made for my horizontal press brake. I made them in three DIY versions because I don't have access to a milling machine. They're laser cut, 3D printed, and welded. This is the Multiform Bender from J.A. Richards Co. This type of machine is used to make steel rule dies for stamping out things like leather in a cooker press. But I think it has much more potential. This tool post has a dovetail to accept dies. This little table has another dovetail for a changeable die. This one's called a bridger. It's a shear that notches out a little rectangle. It's part of making steel rule dies, but these plates are changeable as well, so I can put whatever tooling I want down here. This is a depth stop to make repeatable bends. This machine only came with two dies, but that means I had a starting point to measure the dovetail from. And after I 3D modeled them, I printed them in PLA just to get a test fit. And after I got the dimensions pretty close with the 3D printing, accounting for shrinkage of the plastic, I ordered a test cut out of steel. And the steel dies are gonna be stacked four layers high of quarter inch plate. After I got that test cut back, I changed the dimensions by a couple of thousands and ordered the full set. I just got these parts cut from Sencut Sen, who's the sponsor for today's video. You probably know them from many of my past projects, and they're an online laser cutting service that has a wide range of metals. You upload a drawing, they give you an automatic quote, and they ship really fast. They even offer AR500, which is what these parts are made of. It's an abrasion resistant and heat treated steel, and should be much more durable than mild steel. I find they're a great resource for prototyping, and having access to a laser cutter has opened up a ton of possibilities for me. Check out Sencut Sen, I'll have a link in the description. I designed these dies to be indexed with a piece of 8th inch round bar, and I've got a bunch of 1 inch pieces to get, so I'm working on my efficiency. I've only plug welded the dowels until the middle two plates are floating a little bit. They only move a couple thousandths. And that shouldn't be a problem because the stress shouldn't be on the dowels, it should all be on the dovetail in the back. These dovetails just need a touch of deburring and then they fit beautifully. Let's test them out by making a brass coat hanger. I wanna try an experiment. Let's say you don't have access to a laser cutter and you want to make the dovetail manually. So I've cut one of these dies without the dovetail. I suppose it's possible to hand make this by cutting and filing. I wanna try and use eighth inch round bar. To hold the round bar in place, I'm gonna weld it in the dovetail on the tool. I'm gonna to make sure to spray it real good with some anti-spatter. I'm gonna stick in the round bar, put the die on, put in a little shim to kick them forward, stick in a brass wedge, and that wedge isn't loose enough to where they can still slide. I put the male die in to center the V. I'm gonna hang some weight on the handle. It seems kind of risky that I'm gonna accidentally weld to the machine. I'm just gonna turn down my welder light enough to barely tack this together and then pull it off and weld it. We'll see if this works, it's just an experiment. Oh, it worked. I gotta be gentle so I don't break these teeny weeny welds. I got this thing welded and cleaned up with some files. Let's see how it fits. How about that? It actually works and it's not permanently welded to the tool.
You can see what kind of damage round bar does to this PLA. But these plastic dies are so cheap and fast to make, you can just trash them and print as many as you want. I did, however, make a more durable version with steel round bar embedded, and that worked pretty stinking well. To me, it makes the most sense for the Z axis of the print to share the same axis of compression on the die. But since laser cutting is 2D, it makes most sense to orient the dies like this. However, I guess if you wanted to, you could layer the steel like this and then have the layers cut out with a five axis water jet and then just stack it like William Osmond's ham and cheese Vin Diesel. <laughs> My next video will be converting this bender to pneumatic power, making a stand for it, and a rack to hold all of the dies. If you want to see that video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.